Dudes, what's happening? I'm Trent and I have a special tip for you today about the Wacom and Tuos Pro. That's this bad boy right here. If you are a digital artist uh, and you're working on professional stuff, you're gonna want one of these. Uh, if you're a beginner, you wanna kinda work with the uh, old uh, bamboo or uh, actually any tablet that just gets you drawing digitally is gonna be fine. Uh, but this one is the one that I use. I don't use the modern Cintiqs uh, because I like to sit very upright. But there is a problem, there are pros and cons to this device. Now I used to have an Intuos 3 which was wired, meaning that this wire actually went through and uh, connected to the, the wire and the, the, the board inside of it. And uh, that really, I got like 10 years out of that. And I might have even borrowed that from like a studio that I worked at, possibly, uh, years and years and years ago. Anyway, 10 years, got 10 years out of it. This is actually my second Intuos Pro in three years. And the reason is because there's a little bit of a flaw in the design. Uh, so this uh, USB connector right here actually connects in and then this wire goes to your, your uh, computer and that's how it communicates the information when you're drawing on the tablet to the computer. But what happens is, is uh, sometimes I like to sit with this on my, on my lap and this wire right here, because it detaches and then connects with a, through a USB port, uh, as you can see right there, I'm not sure if you can actually see inside of there, if the focus is working or not. But anyway, so this USB connects into there. And uh, what happens is, is you set it on your lap sometimes and it does this and that bends the wiring inside of there, thus nullifying the connection to the computer. This causes a bit of a problem. Uh, because then it messes up drivers because every time you plug it in, it checks to see if it's got drivers. And if it only downloads half of that, then you got a flawed, messed up Wacom that has, this is $350 for this thing. I called Wacom and uh, their customer support said they'd be happy to fix it for about $120. And uh, sure, I could just drop the cheddar and uh, pay that $120 and uh, get myself another uh, uh, another Wacom Intuos Pro. But the problem with that is, is that I'm just going to have the same problem again because I like to sit sometimes with the tablet on my lap. Now, if you're working on a desk, you're never really going to have this problem. That's, that's just not even going to come up because it stays flat. It never really bends. Although if somebody walks by it or it jerks the, the cable out of there, it's not like a, a Apple uh, magnetized one and I wish they would just do something that's like a magnetized connection that would be really awesome uh, but instead I've got a better solution uh, so what I did is uh, I went out and bought myself a wireless kit and that connects into the back and these actually pop off really easily they're meant to to do that so over here you've got the uh, wireless um, the wireless signal connector and uh, it actually comes with like a little uh, dongle that I believe uses um, Bluetooth, but this this kind of like fits into there, so it all stays very compact. This plugs into your uh, laptop or your tower, whatever you're using, and then uh, over here you've got the battery pack. Now, uh, what I've done is uh, I actually I bought. Now the thing is, here's the problem: uh, the USB this no longer connects to the tablet. There's janky wires in there. I tried to solder it together myself. And I actually broke one of them. This is, like I said, this is my second one. I'm kind of regretting that, that I even tried because there's there's just too many intricate little wires that, that get bent inside of there. They're like hair thin. Even with tweezers and a, a microscope, I couldn't have fixed that. Um, and so the thing is, is that th because this won't connect to there, you can't even recharge the battery. So what you have to do, uh, I know, right? Um, what you have to do is uh, get yourself a uh, import from China or just go to Amazon uh, and find yourself a universal cell phone battery charger. And uh, what that is, is it's got the two prongs. You don't want, you don't need the one with the three prongs, but that's just for ground. And I'll put a link to this in the, uh, in the link below in the link section of the video below. Um, this is about $5 on Amazon. And the wireless kit is about $35 on, uh, on Amazon. And so at, at the beginning of the day, or at the end of the day, I, uh, I, dropped, the, uh, I dropped this into the, uh, I dropped my battery into the charger, plug that bad boy in, in the morning it's charged. You get about eight hours of drawing time out of one battery, and, uh, but you don't have to worry about the whole thing working or not. And so essentially when you're done, what you've got is a completely wireless, which is actually kind of cool, 
uh, seamless wireless Intuos Pro that can fit in your lap, it can fit on wherever, on a, on a desk, whatever. The range on the Bluetooth for it, about what I found, starts to get a little chuggy and slow down about two or three feet. And I will say it's not as reliable, but it's reliable enough. And I really hope that this is an issue that, that Wacom fixes. I stand by this Intuos Pro. I stand by it because uh, one, it's more of an upright sitting kind of a, a position, which I enjoy. I like to use a nice large 30 inch monitor display. I spent many years drawing at a drawing desk. I like being able to have better posture. Uh, I stand by the product itself as far as uh, any other uh, tablet goes, nothing really comes close to the Intuos Pro. I just hope that they fix this one little problem. And I'm going to suggest to them the, the same uh, process that uh, Apple uses on their power supply, where there's a battery connect or a uh, magnetized connection. So if it pops out, it doesn't cause any kind of wiring conflicts or anything there. And, uh, you know, I really hope that this helped you guys. It certainly, I, I wish that there was more information on it online. I just found some helpful website and a blog and uh, they kind of pointed me to in the direction of, of this thing. And uh, Lifesaver, mm, Lifesaver, you just saved me like 350 bucks and a lot of heartache, buddy. So uh, anyway, I hope that helped you guys. If it did, please subscribe. Check out my other videos if you want to pick up some tips on drawing and things like that. I, uh, I do a lot of tutorials here on YouTube, and, uh, and I've got a few videos on Gumroad as well. And uh, I'll see you guys in those videos. All right, ciao.